What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Retro Review. I am the Bearded Geek, and I have something a little bit different for you. Five Core decided to send me over some microphones and an audio mixer. This is a mixing console, and um, I will say Five Core did send these over to me to review. I'm going to give my 100% honest opinions on these products, but there is a caveat. These products are made for like vocal recordings and vocal artists and musicians. I'm going to be looking at this from a podcasting perspective. So with that said, let's go ahead and get on over to that review. Okay, I have everything all hooked up, ready to go. I have been using this microphone throughout the entirety of this video. How does it sound? Um, where you're gonna do some tests on this microphone. I will say, I'm getting like a high pitch something in my headphones. It's like a like almost like an interference. This is a wireless mic um, with the receiver, so I'm sure that it has something to do with that. But I will, the build quality of this microphone is really good. Um, we'll do a little bit of testing right now. We're going we're gonna to be talking directly into this microphone just like this. Um, you know, we're going to be talking like game, game show style. Then we'll, how about some plosives? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Yeah, the plosives are pretty bad on this. So I'm going to be doing this at a little 45 degree angle, a little bit of handling noise. There's your handling noise going. If you're a, if you're a mic person and you're talking and you just want to change, you get, you'll get a little bit of noise, mic noise, mic handling noise, but I don't think it's too bad. I think it's pretty sturdy. The, the build quality on this microphone is actually really good. It's really well made. Five core does make out. Uh, make some really sturdy microphones. I cannot fault the microphone um, for its build quality. However, let's get on over to this mixer real quick. All right, here we, here we have the five core dynamic vocal. Here we have the five core mixing console. This is a professional four channel mixing console. Um, what, the, what this has is here's your gain, here's your highs, here's your lows. I believe I have this set up the best way I can. Like if I was to turn this up, my highs go away and my lows come in. If I turn this button in, my lows come in and I'm a little bit more bassy. I'm going to set this right around here. This is where it's connected to your to the computer. This this goes right into your computer, and the computer did recognize this right away once this is turned on. Your power supply is on the back. This cord is is uh, connected into the wall through one of those USB dongles that you saw in the unboxing or the uh, what's in box right there. There is a lot. This does have two XLR inputs. So for musicians and vocal recorders and, um, and, and musicians and um, artists, vocal artists, I believe that this is a fantastic device for recording. It is portable. It is, it is great. However, for podcasting, not so much. I think there's a, there's a better product on the market this it 
first of all, it, it really does not look cool sitting on your desk. It, it's not the best looking thing in the world. You do have a ton of control. I will say that there is a ton of control that you have on here. However, I, it's not the best for podcasting. And I'm looking at this in a podcasting light. I am not looking at this in a as an artist light because I am not a musician and I am definitely not a vocal artist. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a look at the microphone now. I'm going to see if I can hook this up to another audio interface and see if I can get rid of that, that high pitch whining that I'm hearing. So we'll come back and see if that is gone. All right, I'm back hooked up. I am actually hooked up to the fine, fine SC3 right now and I'm still getting that high pitch every time I talk. So it is it is not the mixer. It's got to be the microphone and all the audio interference, all the electrical interference going on with this wireless mic. Um, I do believe that on stage, this mic may be a banger. Um, I can, I will, let's do a little off access rejection just to, just to cover all the bases. I'm talking directly into the microphone. I'm spinning the microphone around. I'm talking, I'm spinning around, I'm talking, and I'm spinning it around. This is what you're getting when you when you get this five core microphone. Now, like I, I have said before, I do love the build quality of five core. Five core does make some great product. This is all metal. Um, this is a plastic build, however, and I will say since it is not the mixer's fault, it is it's gotta be all the electrical interference that I, that is messing with this wireless microphone. I do believe that this would be a great audio mixer for musical for for musical artists, um, musicians. It, it is portable. It is it's two channels. You got two XLRs you can put in there, all the presets, your highs, your lows, all, all that reverb. It has a great amount of stuff that you can do with this. However, for a podcasting situation, there's a lot better um, mixers. Um, matter of fact, I would probably choose the fine fine over this one at about the same price because you do not need this much control for podcasting. Now the microphone, I do believe it would be great on stage. It, I think it may sound really excellent if you don't have all the electrical interference. Matter of fact, I, I'm going to do a little copyright free uh, music here for you. One, the only song I know that is copyright free. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Like I said, I think if you can get rid of some of the electrical interference, that this mic would actually sound good. Not on my voice, because I am not uh, I am not a singer. I am not a music musician. So I do believe that it is the electrical interference. And it's not just this mic. Like, this was the original mic that I was using, and I was still getting the electrical interference. Um, like I said, th th it's, it's, it's not good for podcasting, at least not wirelessly. Uh, maybe if they had a wired version of this, it may be better, but wirelessly you're picking up way too much electrical interference in my personal opinion. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna come back with my final thoughts. I'm just gonna go ahead and give this one star. I cannot recommend this. Um, I, but however, if you are a musician or a, a musical song singer, um, vocalist, I should say, then I will leave a link down in the description and comments for you because I do believe this is something that you could use at a really great price. Um, I, I, I don't have the prices on me right now, but I will link them in the description below. All right, guys, that does it for this episode of Back to the Retro Review. I am the Bearded Geek, and remember, if I don't see you again, thank you for being a friend.